Thanks. Good morning. <laughs> Thank you very much. So event I have named as launch of my new product, new training, three days certified delivering excellence specialist course. Quickly about myself, I've kept it, but I'm not going to talk about it yet because I'm saving time for those 30 minutes for you all to help me by speaking. Beginning with my teaming up with Udbata for delivering products and services in resilience space. And some of you may know Anand, some may not. I'll request Anand to speak a few words, please. First of all. Anand. You're on mute. Sorry, sorry. Thank you. Thanks, Daman. So I was just saying that it's a pleasure to be be uh, working with Daman after a long time. Um, me and Daman go way back uh, when I was in Dr. Reddy's and he was from Core. And we were trying to implement DCM for the company. And today I'm, um, you know, a tech co-founder. Uh, so we've had, we, we have our first risk management software out there. And uh, we are now uh, keen on taking Daman's help on building the resiliency uh, intelligence into the tool, uh, probably a couple of quarters down the line. Uh, we are also teaming up with Daman for building capabilities for DCM and resilience within the organization. So that's where we are today. So uh, I would be working very closely with Daman over the next few months and quarters to see that that happens. And that's a little about us. Um, happy to be in touch on anything that you might have on this for resilience in the future. Thank you, Daman. Thank you very much. Let's move on. So I want to talk about the course. First important point is the CPD advantage. I have applied for this. Should be with us in two weeks or so. That's what our experience is with the previous product, previous training. Delivering excellence helps to provide exceptional and high quality products, services, or experiences to all interested parties. And I specifically mentioned all interested, or we can say all relevant interested parties, but all will still stay. A program or project manager has dual challenges, I say. Internally, they need to keep the management happy. It's all about money. The business of business is making money. So excellent commercials, top and bottom lines are important. And externally, they need to keep the customers happy excellent service delivery is required for that. So this course is a blend of good practices for program and project management and service delivery. And that's why I'm calling it delivering excellence. And for that, for delivering excellence, we need to go to back, back to basics, I'm saying. Deliver excellently to help your business grow. That's what the objective of the course is. Three days is the duration. Delivering excellence course. Quickly talking about key features of the course. Designed, developed and delivered by yours truly. CPD UK certified, which is applied for. We will have it in time. Affordable fee. 33 exercises, so it's all practicals and bite-sized exercises was the name given by Anand. I've started using that. I will get it copyrighted. 20 case studies. So basically, this is how I've designed it, that every session opens with a case study or ends with a case study. And AI interventions built into the course with games also. 24 valuable CPE credits through CPD UK. First in class, first of its type, I believe there is no such course in the market. And we ran a survey based on that. We have changed our delivery style also. That's three days actually is delivered in three weeks. So two days every week for three days. 
एंड एवरी डे इट इज ओनली फोर टू फाइव आवर्स सेशन विच मीन्स मिनिमम टाइम टेकन अवे फ्रॉम पीपल्स पार्टिसिपेंट्स वर्क एंड लॉट ऑफ सपोर्टिंग मेटीरियल एंड बोनस माई बुक माई एक्सपेरिमेंट विद ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल रेजिलियंस पार्ट वन पर्सनली साइंड कॉपी टू ऑल आई वॉन्ट टू ऑल्सो टॉक अबाउट वाई शुड वी डू वट्स हैपनिंग इन द वर्ल्ड देर टेन चैलेंजेस अकॉर्डिंग टू मी इन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट नीड टू बी रिजॉल्व एंड ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड आई एम शोइंग द सोल्यूशन वॉट वी सी इज that about 50% can be managed after gaining skills through this course to exceed expectations drive revenue succeed through excellence boost profits elevate customer service turn satisfied customers into advocates enhance revenues nothing comes free business of business is making money so we cannot forget when you revenues and profits unlock success elevate your business delight customers increase profits once again and increase resilience overall ultimately today we want to be a resilient organization because ultimately we are looking forward to a resilient planet key content what is being covered quickly wanted to touch upon that also the so managing large transformation needs program and project life cycle management including status reporting so this is not pmp course someone may be having the knowledge experience not necessarily the qualification or certification someone might have done pmp might have forgotten some of the concepts so kind of a refresher for them someone who just wants to uh, learn project management program management by the way when i say program management i don't mean to say only the program managers as such what i mean to say is even quality department has program managers and project managers even procurement has finance has so this is anyone every one of us doing project or program management course should be good for them we talk about project economics repeatedly nothing comes free business of business is making money so we need to understand economics sometimes some people do great deliveries but billing realization invoicing not my job them we can't stay in that state anymore then moving on to efficient service delivery approach and methodology managing change request and scope creeps we know this is one of the biggest challenges in programs and projects then introduction to delivery excellence a lot of time is spent on that delivering excellence and design thinking so i bring in design thinking approach also which is kind of latest these days quality management and continual improvement innovation and creativity is talked about and building a culture of excellence the moment we start moving towards organizational resilience the culture and attitude becomes very important and we need to work on that communication is important during dau its importance during crises and bcm disasters increases many folds i am repeatedly saying during dau also when we are attempting to deliver excellently we need to improve upon our communication also with or all relevant interested parties and managing customer complaints and feedback if we can convert these into opportunities how there are some tips available in the course along with exercises and advanced client interactions we know whatever we do there will be some challenges in life internally as well as externally so we practice managing difficult conversations also in this course so hopefully it equips us to deliver well deliver excellently question you may say so the one who is this course for i'm saying all program managers project managers and these are in the quality department also these are in the delivery department also these are in sales department also these are in finance as well so basically all departments all business units according to me have programs and projects business analysts 
सीनियर मैनेजमेंट सेल्स मैनेजर्स बिजनेस डेवलपमेंट मैनेजर्स कस्टमर रिलेशनशिप मैनेजर्स स्पेसिफिकली क्वालिटी मैनेजर्स स्टूडेंट्स फैकल्टी रिसर्चर्स ट्रेनर्स एंड कंसल्टेंट्स ऑल नीड दिस कोर्स अकॉर्डिंग टू मी this is where i would like to stop about the course the product new product being launched thank you very much once again my coordinates in front of you very easy to find me on linkedin or through mail daman at damandevsood.com i'll stop here and i'll request my guest senior experts sitting here to have provide their views on the product thank you very much Great, We can go in any order. Whoever wants to speak, whatever he she wants to speak, in any order, mm. it's open. Try can fire the first salvo. Right. Okay, and after that, Kamal, I have seen the hand. So Ashit, go ahead, please. Uh, well, this is absolutely brilliant, uh, Damantra. Uh, I think this is uh, your. absolutely right there is no product like this in the market um, initially when i thought and thank you you clarified that this is not pm uh, pm box kind of uh, project uh, pmp kind of uh, this thing because it touches every part of the uh, this thing and i think we all being also senior professional possibly should take it because and years of experience that must have gone into this uh, what is very very heartening in for this particular course that this is a case going to be case study driven so uh, obviously there are fundamentals that is going to be covered like you you're going to touch upon quality customer service and all those stuff uh, but this is going to be very very eye opening and i guess uh, if i find really time i would love to do it myself Thank not from the point of view of uh, getting certified because i have enough of them but i want to possibly <laughs> learn learn from the guru and from the expert and resiliency today is i think numero you know uh requirement um, and if you go to see uh the kind of risk we dealing into whether it is from climate change or cyber or privacy or any kind of stuff i think you have to be resilient not only at the professional level but also at the personal level so Great. this like is definitely that. going to add uh, value to uh, each one of us uh, not only our generation but younger generation and i would specifically recommend even for the younger generation because when they are getting or stepping into this something like this if they can hone their skill before they you know go into the organization uh, that would really enhance their even the view and on that perspective how to deal with some of the very burning issues and critical area my only yes. recommendation daman sir yes. whenever you get some time yes sir uh, uh, along with resiliency i think i would also request you to add something on sustainability all right because sustainability is one of the major challenges and that is fact factoring as an organization perspective yes. especially i'm being a sustainability expert myself esg is becoming so critical yes. now right so i think that would maybe a chapter or so Take you know you can just yeah. talk about those so and you are touching many of those like you are touching human side you are touching you know environmental side you are touching quality right. side um so sustainability and some part of you know cyber resiliency right. okay. would be brought in. all right great thank you but good luck I'll and thank you so much thank you very much for having me kamal you can go ahead thank you very much ashish yeah good morning ladies and gentlemen good we morning. have any lady here i said that but good morning yes we can hear good very clear okay okay so many faces also so i think i would want to first of all start with complimenting you and thank i you. think all of us should have a clap for so can all of us thank clap you. for thank you very much no drill requires a lot of courage to come out with such new ideas and uh, i i must say that this is one of its kind in the industry and uh, i love attending uh, or even conducting training so i can certainly say this that this certainly can be a new beginning a new chapter in the training aspect thank you and uh, naman ji i i recall meeting you i think 25 years back for the first time during my tcs day and uh, right. those days of course we were in different different uh, parts of team and but the way yeah. you brought newer ideas and newer i mean news within tcs kind of organization which was so structured and uh, in last almost i think you have been retired now for 8 9 years someone 
right if you can call it retirement yes <laughs> but no, I, not I, retirement. I know you will never have retired <laughs> <laughs> but what i mean is from moving on from tcs yes. and even there the kind of different pathway that you have charted for yourself so after this is about uh, years, uh, that is called transformation not the retirement sir okay like that <laughs> like i get that. that i get that but one completion of one aspect brings a new, newer aspect so I must say it like that, but I certainly get this. You should not call it retirement. I, I agree with you. Yeah. So uh, the kind of work which you have gone through in last these eight nine years is certainly certainly amazing. I, and uh, I think of you guys when I look at the kind of inspiration I want to draw for years to come. It is you. Thank and, you. And uh, sometime back, I was thinking of writing a book on uh, backup. And when I thought about BCP. I think you were the first person I thought about. So thank you very much for contributing. I'm looking really forward to that book. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And if and if you would want to, actually, during this course, I I will really uh, give it to you for each participant one book. Wow! Thank oh, you very you. much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Kamal. And and uh, and one quote I was just looking at who said what about excellence, and mm -hmm. I think one aspect of APJ Abdul Kalam where he said excellence is a continuous process and not an accident. Right. And the way you are, you are talking about all the different aspects, I can see that that you are talking about each one of the aspects about the journey which a professional goes through. So in each one of those and the moment, whatever you might have done. And uh, I recall who was saying about transformation a while back. Ashit, uh, yes. Ashit. So like yesterday's transformation says this two days ego trip, right? <laughs> so also is a consistent process. It Absolutely. Is. Similarly, excellence also is a consistent process. Absolutely. If I stop focusing on excellence, my growth will stop. Exactly. Exactly. And so having that aspect and my recommendation, I did not see that word clearly, but I, in my belief, a excellence mindset. Mm -hmm. So the mindset certainly is going to be critical that you want to have this, whatever you might be doing, in each one of those aspects, if you were to start bringing excellence, so then this kind of course will become clearly critical for every profession. Okay. Correct. And uh, our last thing which I want to say is that I know you certainly has been one person who makes complex things simple. <laughs> Thank you. Like, and I, I recall the other day, the way you were talking about framework to be given by as if we have <laughs> a core and a frame of that, right? So the way you made framework to be so, so simple. Similarly, I am really amazed the way you have made this tricky topic so simple. Thank you. Okay. So uh, I'm looking forward to uh, sending some persons to this course Thank and seeing whatever ways, if I can be part of it. So I will, I'll explore with you and see that. Very happy. Thank Thanks you. Thanks a lot. Wishing Thanks. you all the very best. I know you will do very, very well. Thank you very much. Can you move keep on energy, to Sanjay? Keep energy right? flowing, buddy. Thank you very much. Sanjay, can you go ahead, please? Sure. Um, so I'll be crisp about this, uh, one. Obviously, we have spoken offline as well. So this is a brilliant idea on through your flyer. Thank you. Um, and strategically, I think you are very well positioned to be delivering this across the industry with your vast experience and knowledge base. Couple of things uh, from a tactical and operational aspect of it. Yeah. I think uh, I completely agree with Ashit uh, that resilience, uh, the way that we understand resilience is also going through a transformation. It is. Uh, aspects of ESG, uh, aspects of sustainability, uh, aspects of risk and control, uh, which uh, yes. needs to be inherent within organizations. Um, the societal concept of it, uh, uh, which is... Uh, probably a little lost now in the recent standards and everything else also needs to be underlined. Um, you know, I tend not to forget what I learned maybe 10, 15, 20 years down the line. So I am one of those oldies who still believe in uh, total quality management and Kaizen <laughs> and all of that. So I would say, um, a ro I, I would kind of implore you to roll some of those aspects of continuous improvements, the, the, the philosophy of it, through ESG and risk and control and yeah. uh, the cyber aspect of it to come into play here. Yeah. A little bit operationally around the title. Uh, I don't agree 
your title is unique if you look up there are at least two or three other trainers all right who are del- okay. delivering courses on excellence all right so you probably need to make it a little unique operationally uh, daman thank you very that much that's a good one uh, delivering excellence and then maybe call on uh, you know moving from resiliency to sustainability or something of that sort which clearly underlines got it, got it. how this is uh, to make it more specialized rather than generic got it got it thank you very much um uh that and i think uh initial uh, you can have some abridged versions mm-hmm. uh, of the course presented through uh, certain professional forums groups all right i would say since i'm part of the uh, mumbai chapter for the bci maybe just right. come in and speak about the course without giving anything much away maybe for 15 20 minutes yeah that will give visibility to the course itself right uh these so these are the few points sir, that i really had for you daman i hope thank it makes much. sense to you thank you very much daman sir i'll give you a suggestion yes, because please. isaka mumbai chapter conference annual conference is in the uh, end of july right and you might want to pick up maybe uh, even if you sponsor part of the event and then come and do some kind of a training because i think right. saturday which is 22nd july i'm i'm not sure one of those saturday they are having it so you can possibly take one track 8 okay. hours on okay. this okay. as a you know first part of it and yeah. everyone knows you so it's not you don't need special introduction but okay. isaka yeah. mumbai chapter would be a good platform because okay. they get a lot of people especially from banks and all i'm a chapter right. chapter member along with new jersey chapter right. and i've delivered myself so many of them so it will It's be a great note. idea if you want right good idea I, i can send you the details on that yes please yes please thank you very much acha would you like to go ahead I'm just yeah, going thank, by hands so first, much. and then we we perhaps we'll I'll start calling names. Sure, uh, wonderful initiative, Daman. That's what I would say. The need of the hour, and uh, I mean, if you look at the way the business is going, I mean, uh, uh, all of us know that you know the large transformational projects. Gone are the days when most organizations would just take a small piece of activity and just do it. Large transformation is where. things are actually going where the money so is audience where, where the money is <laughs> and that is where the expectation of the customer is right. and initially it was only india where we were seeing the mission critical projects becoming large projects but this is now uh, you know gradually we are seeing similar kind of projects coming up across the rest of the countries where the customer is saying you know what let me be out of this space this is your expertise handle it and uh, many at times we are very used to doing those small bits and pieces one project comes in we just do a small piece of work in isolated technology isolated domain and move in so right. i think the idea of the large transformational project it really picks up mm-hmm. and advice over there that i've uh, got to know mainly from the indian projects perspective mm-hmm. is all these government mission mode projects they now are out of or they have always been out of that mindset of is it only it or is it it plus 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 all right i mean if you look at the passport project uh, that we did right. uh, you know it's, i mean this is especially true for those kind of projects where you know it's not only the it it's not only the software development and the maintenance it's actually the whole package execution on the ground the whole package right which also includes unfortunately i mean that is where large organizations would need to pitch in could be you know things like setting up the building all right that's a construction side of things or setting right. up security guards how right. do we have a consistency on security and as uh, uh, i think ashit you had mentioned uh, was you know it's cyber security so cyber security is one aspect but then this physical security also so those kind of things are also now getting incorporated in a project that is coming up okay. so those okay. are things that you know we should sen- uh, sensitize people about where uh, you know technology domain and the kind of activities that they would need to do right. that's there another audience uh, which you seem to have bissed out i mean i checked the one that the list that you had sent as well as the one right now right i strongly feel that you need to include include the architects also who oh, sorry it's not the architects the system architects. and the solution architects all right 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 solutionists okay 
the solutions uh, uh, as solution people as well as if we are talking of large transformational projects from an audience perspective i think you also need to include a bid managers we are, are going into i meant that but complex. maybe i didn't say that yes bid i did yeah we yes. are we are you know going into very very complex uh, I agree. Uh, scenarios so I agree. those are the key ones of course i had a few others uh, jotted, jotted down which uh, i'll share offline with you yes, but please. a great I initiative agree. I think this is really the need of the hour more so because uh, globally I'm seeing that, you know, we are very used to doing things in silos Okay. So, and, and yes, there are, we are, we are not really focusing on the things that you mentioned. So great initiative and really the need of the hour. Thank you very much. So Thank sure. you so much. Thanks a lot. And we I'm show looking the at the time also because I had requested 30 minutes only. So if someone who is hard pressed on time, it seems I'll need to extend. But whoever is hard pressed on time, he or she can speak first. But I'll wait for you. Did you want to go first? Yeah. All right, please. Um, also, so echo, echo coming, sir, from you. We just some disturbance in sound. Okay, well, just a second, just a second. Not able to hear clearly. Uh, is it okay now? Yes, great. And also because because of a shortage of time, shortage because I designed the event like that, it was only for 30 minutes. I yeah. have not introduced any one of you. Please, if you don't mind, tell what do you do? Where are you from? It'll be good for everyone to know each other. Okay, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. That you missed out. Uh, I am Vijay Devnath. I am a general manager and uh, the CISO of... Uh, Center for Railway Information Systems, the IT arm of Indian Railways. Uh, today, of course, Indian Railways is in a deep spot because of a major uh, accident uh, Bad, happening. Yes. But uh, that apart, uh, I um, work in the IT uh, part of it. Uh, the uh, very commendable initiative by Daman. And uh, I know Daman from last, uh, I think, seven, eight years since we started interacting in the IEEE, IEEE events and in the committees and uh, all, all that. And uh, whatever uh, scope you have covered in your uh, you know, course is uh, excellent. I will say beyond excellent. Okay. And it's the need of the hour. Uh, but uh, only thing I want to add is, yes, that is uh, looks like uh, focused mostly on a uh, private sector uh, middle management uh, executives. It will be okay. most useful to them. Uh, for government sector, the challenges are slightly more complex different. and yeah. Uh, yeah, different. Right. So if uh, in uh, future uh, courses, if you can include some part of uh, how to navigate the bureaucracy uh, in the yes. Uh, government. I'll read uh, a couple be, of case studies uh, around that. So far, there was none on government sector. I recollect now when you said, I agree with you. So, a yeah. couple so of that's, case that's, studies on government sector. Yeah, Great. yeah, yeah. And uh, the case study base is is very very good. It gives a perspective and uh, a very engaging, you know, uh, course to the participants. And uh, in future, if not others, I will myself like to go through it. Uh, Thank you. As I much. transition from government to private sector and all that thank you yeah thank you thank, thank you, you the man for giving me a opportunity thank you very much uh sir with your permission may i go next yes please sandeep go ahead please uh, and keep it simple the one is good <laughs> no, no, yes. sir. Uh, i come from the navy so uh all this, right. uh is too ingrained in me thank you so much <laughs> sir for uh, uh extending me uh, this opportunity uh, for the benefit of everyone else, uh, I am Commander Sandeep Sinha, retired. I moved sir, thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. Correct, correct. Thank Even you, I didn't so realize nice that you were from, from that background. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so, uh, I have been in the risk consulting uh, industry since 2018. I work in a company called Midcat Advisory. And I am looking after the risk consulting, managed services and the investigation uh, verticals. Uh, so, sir... Uh, when Daman sir sent me, uh, you know, details of this uh, program, uh, I thought this is uh, a need of the hour that is, uh, you know, that has been uh, reiterated by uh, several people today, uh, all of whom are industry leaders and uh, at very, very 
uh, senior and uh, you know experienced physicians. So uh, uh, the first thing that struck me, uh, you know, after reading the detail, that this has got three major pillars. One is the purely educational one, you know, uh, and each pillar can technically attract a different category of participants in these programs. You know, one is the educational aspect wherein uh, the very relevant aspects have been captured in a very well thought out, structured pedagogy, supported by case studies uh, and all that. And of course, uh, to make it more attractive, uh, there are uh, credit points uh, also involved. So I think uh, this program goes well beyond uh, the simple project management or program management. The second aspect and this will probably attract uh, you know people who are in who've got functional responsibilities of delivery right. and uh, coming to delivery i, I think uh, what my learning has been thus far uh, in the corporate sector is that delivery is where uh, the rubber meets the road you know we can come out with <laughs> great claims and uh, we can be bombastic and we can be boisterous but unless the delivery is absolutely absolutely great, uh, you know, uh, things become difficult from the implementation perspective. So one thing that really stood out in the detail that Daman sir has sent, you know, everything is very, very actionable. So we have to understand, to have, to practice, to manage. <laughs> I just love that, sir. It is superb. It is absolutely superb. And that gives it this whole thing a very, very practical uh, touch. Thank you. My third, uh, you know, uh, thing that has really attracted me in this is that this makes so much business sense. You know, delivery excellence makes so much business sense from the perspective of uh, enhanced efficiencies leading to lower cost of delivery, which in turn can, you know, very easily uh, lead to replicability and therefore scalability. So it is superb. And uh, my, I think one of my single biggest learnings uh, in consulting has been to deliver the first project so well, so well, so well, that I can deliver even better in subsequent mandates at 30% of the cost. And that Thank looks great. Absolutely. And uh, Agreed. Uh, I think, sir, I will definitely uh, do this course uh, one of these uh, days. Uh, it has been my endeavor to do at least one executive program a year. So <laughs> I have done. I like that. Uh, I am Ahmedabad, ISB. Save we the time and money for and all that. Now, now, sir, uh, we will come uh, out of university and you know meet where the rubber meet, meets the road. That is the one grave soon. I like so, that. Thank you thank so you much, sir. Me. And all the very best to you. I will be recommending this uh, to uh, whoever I can. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Back Thanks. to you. Thanks a lot. Now, hands have been up. Ashish, do you want to? Uh, Sheshadri also yes. has a Sheshadri. Um, Sheshadri is the most senior person on the panel here today. So I'll just ask him if he wants to speak before Ashish or otherwise Ashish goes and then Shishad. I'm happy to speak after him, uh, Daman. No worries. Thank you very much. Ashish, go ahead, please. Um, Daman, thanks for inviting me here. Um, uh, I feel uh, you have been inspiration to me personally because when we have been at Styria, uh, the, the way you plunge took a plunge from an MNC job into a, a, a known area and you made a lot, lot of sense. Uh, <laughs> so uh, that was this. a transformation. <laughs> Absolutely, that was a transformation and this inspired me to take my own transformation because I took this MNC career, quit that in 2017 and started supporting startups. So I support startups uh, in their go-to-market strategy and accelerate growth. Uh, I also have uh, run a portal, which is uh, which is the startupboard.com. Uh, we have uh, over 5,300 startups there, and uh, we do a lot of interventions, short-term, long-term programs. Great. Uh, important thing is uh, they are some of the programs which we run are uh, probably unique in the world. Nobody does that. So uh, what I uh, take the inspiration from you is the, the transformational and risk-taking ability which you have shown uh, that continues to guide me. So thanks for that. Um, and uh, I think the program is uh, absolutely great. Uh, there are many, many uniqueness which I could spot because I also design programs for many of the startups myself. Right. So I could sense even if they are program management professional and 
project management professional uh, uh, programs uh, this is different because it is not only really dealing with a very specific area of program and project management it also deals with how big projects can be uh, can be attended or uh, attempted to deliver excellence and uh, also uh, i mean uh, some of the ways why, how uh, the sales growth can be undertaken because uh, delivery is different and sales is different you have tried to combine both of them because many organization have started making their delivery guys also to be the inside sales guy Right. And that's why this will appeal more. I, it looks like to be a program, uh, not only a program, but MBA into project, program and project delivery. So, ah, so thank you very much. Uh, it is a concise, <laughs> concise MBA. Uh, uh, Caseway method continues to be making it practical. So that's uh, what I, I liked as well. Few suggestions. Yeah. Uh, this is a program which is a short duration program, three days. Uh, many people don't realize, even if they understand what you're saying, but they don't realize what is the implication and the meaning of what you've said. So right. it, it imbibes and seeps in a bit later. So in case you can open a window of 30 days to handhold them, All right. maybe through webinars, right. maybe through, uh, maybe through uh, uh, email support, Whichever way, because this is your first program, in case you get the queries from them, what kind of queries you are at, at getting okay. is also going to guide the future programs and course correct. Right, right. So, so that thanks, way, Ashish. Just, just interruption. I didn't say that, but otherwise that's what I have been doing. That actually okay. it's lifelong support. Even after okay. course, whenever you have any question, just write to me. But specifically, we hold a session after about 10 days or two weeks. So Perfect. idea taken. I've just taken note of that. Yeah, maybe uh, maybe make it explicit. Yes, I didn't say that. Thank you very much. Clear. Second thing is uh, we are living in the digital age, and digital tools is also the the basis of any delivery today. Uh, so when we are talking of Primavera or any other digital tools, uh, uh, that becomes program and project management ba base basic tool toolkit uh, right. so if you also can touch base on the digital tools for effective effective effectively uh, increasing the excellence i think that will add to it because most organizations are going in for digital right so i, I have been so uh, because this was shorter version uh, if you look into the flyer that i shared i do talk about tools but then I'll add flavor of the digital tools that you're saying. Yes, I've taken yeah, maybe Thank in you. the shorter version, you don't explain what the tool will do, how it will do, but you can mention so that people can explore all by them. So, so a resource taken. kit can contain those tools. Right, right. Taken, taken. Thanks, Ashish. And the last suggestion is, uh, can you have some sector specific templates, which could, could also act as accelerators? Because uh, suppose you're talking of, uh, let's say Navy or uh, real estate, and there are certain templates apart from the case study, so right. that they are actionable items, which you can also take, give them as a takeaway for them to just experiment on, kick start on them. So this will be a plug-in and accelerator. Take on, take and on. my best wishes to you. It looks like to be a very, very good program. I'll recommend to my circles uh, Thank and you do much. it. Thank you. Thank you very much. This other you want to go ahead, please? Yeah, Daman. And I'm again uh, saying, if he doesn't speak, say that himself. He is the senior most person on the panel here today. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. What Daman indirectly is telling is we that can't see uh, you, the oldest guy in this group. <laughs> we, we can't see you. You can't see me? Yeah. That Sheshadri, sir, okay. we call it's them. Not, uh, yes. It's not no. the oldest people. It's, it's the I old, didn't say oldest. I, I said the senior most person. No, no. I said <laughs> what he meant is no, this. So. <laughs> so that what means no, indirectly you are Bhishma Pitama. He is. <laughs> he is. Yes, he is. Yes. Yeah, I think perhaps I'm the only one who has crossed 70 in this group. So... <laughs> I'll be I'll be completing 71 this June 10. Anyway, that's the material. All the best. Okay. Uh, thanks a lot, Daban. Uh, it's been a wonderful uh, experience working with you in the last about 12, 13 years. We started working together and uh, continuing in resilience way back in 2011, right. I think 2010, whatever. 
Uh, so a lot of terms have been thrown around here already: resilience, sustainability, EFG, um, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and delivering excellence. Right. Now, to me, the most important concern of a business owner is that I mean, uh, generating profits. How is it commercially viable? Right. Now, one of the things we in BCM community, resilience community. we all keep saying that it will turn out to be a profitable venture but that is more said than done actually today out of 100 businesses that are started or that are running uh, hardly 10 are going concerns and good going concerns right so the uh, very obviously the business owners concerned whether they are delivering excellence or not to have commercially successful organization exactly now how does it relate to it practically if you are able to show it through some case studies i am sure it's going to be a big big challenge yes um, i am giving some tools me, also which are just excel based show tools but cost benefit analysis project viability analysis profit profitability analysis case studies and exercises based on excel sheets yes. Sen- sensitivity Thank analysis you. Sensitivity. I'll add that. Also. Yes. Sorry to interrupt, Sir Chandri. No worries. No worries. Okay. So now the second question is: Does uh, do resilience and delivering excellence have uh, similar meaning, or do they differ, or do they have a common platform? Okay. Now, do you mean to say a resilient organization will always deliver excellence, or an organization that delivers excellence will always be resilient? To me. i think both have some common platform but not all because delivering excellence is perhaps perhaps having the customer at the top of the mind now any company that talks of delivery has to keep customer right on top so the other stakeholders actually naturally take a back seat so when you are delivering such excellence whether internal resilience can be still maintained is a big question there will be lot of you know compromises done in the internal processes etc etc and the next thing is delivering exercise i mean excellence does not seem to still have a management system kind of concept or that right. does not have an iso i right. don't mean to say that having an iso is the ultimate thing but that is at least a starting point yes so to make it perhaps a little better known there has to be a management system design right. attached to delivering excellence I which agree. connects it to a resilience a sustainability and a commercially successful venture thanks so much right. i wish you all the best thank you thank you very much sishadri just a quick one that my current thinking talking writing has been in line with little bit that you said i'm not saying fully in line with you but little bit in line with you i have been saying any organization that doesn't take care of his customers internal employees first external customer first is not a resilient organization according to me and we need to be resilient not only after disasters we need to be resilient during bau also so taking care of customers as well as management needs money simple thank you very absolutely. much absolutely i think that has to be the culture yeah but it's a good topic i'm just thinking of inviting you all for a little longer debate i'm saying debate now right so this was a product launch but for a debate also if you all can spare time i'll be in touch with you all once again on this this is a good idea thank you very much who wants to be the next one ashwath wants to go ahead first thank you guys well um, taman this is a uh, very great course and pretty thank uh, you hold on hold on inviting some some interruption sorry actually vinod was here he's also an old friend dr vinod he has i think got disconnected and he wrote a message that he was not able to hear anyone to me you all have been very clear right yeah it is it is we have been clear, clear to each other i don't know what was the challenge i requested him to log in again but perhaps the time is over he might have blocked only 30 minutes for me so i'll speak to him little bit later with my apologies that he couldn't gain what we were discussing yes please ashwat go ahead yeah so the one uh... about me i think we work together in steria i'm really thankful that i could see some old faces here from steria that is very really happy to be here on the call with all the great personalities here uh, i'm 
part of the work group of ISO. I represent India for Smart City work group as well as ISO 19770. Okay. Also, now I head the technology and program head for a nonprofit which is okay. based out of Bangalore. All right. So this whatever is being actually written there, I'm doing it every day in and out. And great to see this course. Basically, if you've been seeing all those project management courses across PMPs and all that, there are a lot of lot of things happening in the market, but nobody was able to address the program management part of it. Frankly, I'll tell you, people don't understand the role of program manager as such. So it's great to see this particular course uh, over here. There are a few suggestions I have, Jaman. Um, in terms of the course, you should have some topic added primarily on the program management office because that is something which is very important, not being adhered to in any part of the course. Mm -hmm. So we don't have something like, you know, people say project management office, that's great. But program management office has to do a lot of things with compliance, lot of workarounds, lot of statutory requirements. I go through this every day. Other than the customer expectations, there are parts that we need to see about the entire holistic view of the entire setup that is in place. Right. Along with internal customer, there are management expectations. Being a nonprofit, we have a lot of founders and each founder comes out with different aspects of this. So not only technology, but also on the, the alliance with the thought process. I mean, I, I could pick up from one of the gentlemen, uh, the government bureaucracy. Right. I mean, that's, that's a key part which you need to actually adhere to and address. And what would be interesting is to know about the case studies that you would be covering because that is where the crux is. Because more the practice, more the clarity on those areas, better delivery of the course. And right. I wish you all the best for this. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, Ashwin. And I now see Vikas and Mavan before I go to Anand once again. Uh, Vikas and Marwan, if you would like to add your views. Yeah, sure. Uh, yes, thank you for your time. And uh, uh, we can't see you if you can switch on camera. That'll be great. But otherwise, no challenge. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I have some people in the background that oh, might not want to be on the camera. Sure. So no I don't want to ask them one by one because it's just certificates, maybe. Uh, but I'll just say... Uh, it's it's way, way overdue to have like specialized courses in resilience to be honest like uh, from an um, industry point of view and it's refreshing to see such a thing um i just uh, just to be uh, short i'll just make it more exclusive if you ask me uh i think we invited a lot of like that uh, been the last 10 years, maybe the culture that we have been basically inviting everybody in the business to be part of the design and everything. And like at some point it became just the credit hours, to be honest with you. Right. Uh, that's at least what I see from the GCC point of view. I'm sure there's maturity here to play and also industries. But yeah, I, I, I think uh, you're going to be having a, a, a small audience similar to today, right? So that, uh, there will be time for everybody to make that yeah, point yeah, of view. Okay. And yes, we can understand. That. So it will be, I think, better to have it more exclusive, just the feel oh, of it. Uh, yeah, yes, yeah. um, possible, doable. I, I think you're, you're, too, uh, you're too welcoming, too nice. <laughs> maybe have someone else, Anna, maybe. Uh, or like anyway, like just play right. the advocate. Like this is this this course is not for you. Like if you're one, two, three, for example, if you're here for the credit hours, like there is no credit hours. If, for example, I don't know. Like you know, like we we we. Uh, that's just because uh, I think it's a non-formal uh, call. This would be a, my actual opinion. Like uh, having been in the BCI 
and I saw in this year for a long right. time. <clears throat> Sorry. But uh, yeah, I I I I must most uh, sincerely believe that there is a geographical element to what I'm saying. So please, everybody. Uh, I just uh, really, really agree mostly with the gentleman uh, that mentioned about excellence. Uh, I, I wholeheartedly go on his side in the debate. Uh, looking forward to it. <laughs> Great. Thank you very much, Marco. Cheers. Thanks, so. Thank you. Vikas, can you hear us? If you would like to add any uh, yes. points, yes, please. Hi. Hi, everybody. I heard and we can't hear you very well. Am I audible? Yeah. Am I audible? Yes. Say that again, please. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I mean, uh, the audience here is a uh, very good, very knowledgeable group of people. With whom we are interacting with the experience. It's a fantastic uh, group of people. And talking about my, you know, connection with you, I read your first book. So that was a resilience for resilience, which you had, you know, last year. Yeah. Shared on the, you know, the group and then this is also it's fantastic. Uh, down to very, very, in a very simple language to explain how the business is so about. I really like that. And after this, uh, now that you have another report. Can you be a bit so loud because there's some dis difficulty yeah. in understanding. So, yeah. So, okay. So, about uh, the resilience part, of, about which the uh, source is, this is really, really yeah, a good initiative. Uh, normally, we see, you know, a stereotype course which is there, but uh, in your course, you give some very good uh, practical, you know, feedback and input. Thank you. And just like one of our colleagues said, program management should also be a part of that, which is very, very uh, good initiative because. Uh, Project management every day does it, but uh, program management is more on the compliance and the requirement on a day to day basis, which will be very, very helpful in the course. And uh, for me, like, you know, uh, weekend, uh, weekend course is uh, a much preferred one because on a day to day basis, we are busy in our operational activities and it's difficult. Earlier, I used to work with the edge where, you know, this DCP program used to be an organized wide uh, experience. Right now, I am director with uh, Baker Daily, and uh, we get a lot of BCMS projects on which we work. I have been interacting with you often on those uh, requirements as well. So, yes, it's a great initiative, and I would like to see such programs being held on a regular basis. And the innovation that you have brought about in this program will really help us in you know, bringing that uh, training to the next level. That's, that's Thank, you. Thank, thanks the Thank you very much. Thanks a lot, Thank you very much. With that, I guess I have requested every guest to speak, present their views. Then with that assumption, may I request Anand to maybe if these could be the closing remarks because I do not have anything other than to say thanks to all of you, which I'll do at the end once again. Yeah, so uh, for all the people who are remaining on the call, thank you. Um, I look forward to working with Daman on projects. This, uh, you know, this is this is a test. I think this launch was a very unique idea that Daman picked up uh, and he wanted to test the thought. He wanted to test the approach. He wanted to take your inputs to see if it could get sharper. Uh, I think uh, all the inputs are very, very well taken. Um, I do conduct trainings myself for risk management and uh, I think some of the points that came out here are very, very uh, important. I think trainings need to be more and more customized. Uh, as Marwan said, um, the CP credits cannot be the primary, uh, you know, attracting factor. Uh, but we did think about this several times before we invested in the UK CPD, because uh, if not anything else, I think every course needs to be validated, right? Every course needs to be uh, tested by someone uh, in terms of its appropriateness and completeness. And that was our primary driver for the CPD, not the credits. Uh, uh, but rest assured, I think every one of the courses that are delivered uh, will be uh, significantly beyond what the objective of the CPD credits are. So Marwan, that should not be a concern at all for any of uh, the courses that Daman rolls out. Uh, 
uh, very happy again and thank you so much for being here uh, i echo every one of the inputs and suggestions and appreciation that has come in and we'll try and summarize this and see if we can apply it uh, you know for our courses whether it's dhamans or betters thank you so much thank you and daman um, excellent uh, session uh, thank you over back to you thank you very much thank it's you all just friends 100% Bye. over it's Have just 100% over know. next time uh, i i'll take care of this also once again thank you very much all of you for sparing time for me on a saturday morning take care of yourselves your families and enjoy the rest of the day have a good one i will thank be you. in the studio once again thank, thank, you. You, very thank much. you have a nice weekend thank everyone you too you too bye. thank you everyone bye bye, bye.